well, I never felt anything, but a cardiologist doing a cardiac catheterization, saw it during the catheterization, told me, and then I went to Dr. Glickman and he verified it with uh, of a test and ultrasound. After discovering it, Dr. Glickman ordered regular ultrasounds every year for several years during that time the aneurysm didn't seem to be growing. Then uh, last year it grew, it got uh, much larger. So then with Dr. Glickman we decided that it had to be fixed. The patient fit into several different criteria. One is I have been following him for a, a several year period of time and within the last six months he had significant growth of his abdominal aortic aneurysm. It was really to me, a very simple procedure. I had two cuts in the groin, and they didn't bother me at all. I didn't take any pain medicine. I spent one day in the vascular ICU, and one day in the step-up unit. Never had any pain. Had a little bit of itching, and I had some bruising, quite a bit of bruising, but that all went away. And and. So, you know, a week I was ready to get out and do everything, though my post-op instructions said I had to wait for two weeks. I think if anybody has any other problems, if they have a, a, you know, CAT scans or MRIs or whatever, if they ask the radiologist to look, that's the only thing I know, because no symptoms, no, none whatsoever, no pain, no enlargements, no, nothing. The majority of patients with abdominal aortic aneurysm do not have symptoms. He has a ultrasound scheduled to take, to look at it in October, I think. And, you know, he, he intends to continue following it to make sure that it's all right, but I feel great, you know, it doesn't, I don't feel like I need anything.